Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate St. Philip Neri, the second apostle of Rome. He spent his days doing humble service and being faithful. And by doing that service, he became the light in times of darkness. And so to prepare ourselves to receive this light from God, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who never cease to bestow the glory of holiness, 
on the faithful servants you raise up for yourself. Graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip Mary. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Sirach. Come to our aid, O God of the universe. Look upon us. Show us the light of your mercies and put all the nations in dread of you. Thus, they will know as we know that there is no God but you, O Lord. Give new signs and work new wonders. Gather all the tribes of Jacob that they may inherit the land as of old. Show mercy to the people called by your name, Israel, whom you named your firstborn. Take pity on your holy city, Jerusalem, your dwelling place. Fill Zion with your majesty, your temple with your glory. Give evidence of your deeds of old. Fulfill the prophecies spoken in your name. Reward those who have hoped in you, and let your prophets be proved true. Hear the prayer of your servants, for you are ever gracious to your people, and lead us in the way of justice. Thus it will be known to the very ends of the earth that you are the eternal God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Let the prisoners sighing come before you with your great power Free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Show us, O oh Lord, the light of your kindness. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples were on the way going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus went ahead of them. They were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. Taking the twelve aside again, he began to tell them what was going to happen to him. Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, 
and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles who will mock him, spit upon him, scourge him, and put him to death. But after three days, he will rise. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit, one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I drink? Or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized. They said to him, We can. Jesus said to them, The chalice that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or my left is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said to them, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, Whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Our prayer to our Lord Jesus today is to give us His light. Liwanagan sana tayo ng Diyos. And it is a very proper prayer at this moment when our country and the whole world is undergoing darkness because of this pandemic. And we have said this prayer in our responsorial psalm, Show us, O Lord, the light of your kindness. Panginoon, ipakita niyo po sa amin ang inyong liwanag. Sapagkat ang amin pong pinagdaraanan ngayong mga panahon na ito ay tunay nga na madilim dahil sa pandemya. Show us your light, O Lord. And in our two readings today, we will see how Jesus, how God, showed us light in the midst of darkness. Paano nga ba pinakita ng Panginoong Diyos ang liwanag sa gitna ng Kadiliman. Let us go first to the first reading from the book of Sirach. In our first reading today, we see that the people of Israel have undergone, have experienced many darkness in their lives. Their exile, they were conquered as a people. What can be the light in the midst of the darkness of the life of Israel? 
in our first reading today, it is said that the light in times of darkness is the faithfulness of God. That is why the prayer in our first reading is, Come to our aid, O God of the universe, help us. Show us the light of your mercies, so that they will know that there is no God but you. Parang sinasabi ng panalangin sa unang pagbasa na ang iyong pagiging tapat sa amin, Panginoon, ay siyang magiging liwanag ng aming buhay. The light in times of darkness is faithfulness. Pagiging tapat. That is why I am sure you have seen people in our hospitals, the healthcare workers, who are doing their job every day. And whenever we see that they are faithful in their work, we are able to say, Ah, there is light in darkness. So, my dear brothers and sisters, if we want to be light in these times of darkness, then let us Remember faithfulness. That will be light in times of darkness. The second light that the Word of God teaches us today comes from the Gospel reading. When the disciples were afraid because Jesus was telling them what will happen to Him during His suffering, Jesus taught them at that moment that whoever among you wishes to be great must be the servant. Whoever among you wants to be first should be the last. Because the Son of Man came to be served, not to be served, but to serve. The light in the darkness in this passage is service. In the midst of suffering, in the midst of darkness, in the midst of trials, what is the light that comes from Jesus? Service. Humble service. Kaya pag nakakakita tayo, halimbawa, ngayong panahon ng pandemic, nakakakita tayo ng isang public servant, halimbawa, ng isang politiko, na naglilingkod, nang hindi nagpapasikat ng sarili, kundi tahimik lang na naglilingkod. Humble service. We are able to say, Ah, there is light in the midst of darkness. Because there is humble service. My dear brothers and sisters, these are the two ways how Jesus showed us, how God showed us that there is light in the midst of darkness. Faithfulness and humble service. This will be our guiding light in the midst of dark of the darkness of this pandemic today we are joined by the girl scouts of uh, the philippines today they celebrate their 81st anniversary and they are having their uh, national council convention I know hundreds of you are even joining us online in this celebration of the Mass. And today, I'm uh, correct me if I am wrong, you will be uh, choosing leaders in, uh, 
in your uh, group, the Girl Scouts of the Philippines, and your theme is about light. The theme of your uh, convention is shine on. Shine on. And remember the two ways how we can show light in the midst of darkness. Faithfulness and humble service. If you are choosing your leaders today, remember for the leaders who will be elected, become faithful, become humble in your service. In that way, the Girl Scouts of the Philippines can truly shine on and spread the light of God in the midst of the darkness of our times. We are including you in our prayers today as you gather to celebrate, as you gather to track the way in which you are going in the coming years. May the light of our Lord guide you, the light of faithfulness and the light of humble service. Amen. Please stand. Christ our Lord predicted his saving death and resurrection. Through him, the suffering servant, let us bring our petitions to the Father of all mercies. For every petition, let us say, Make us true servants, O Lord. Make us true servants, O Lord. That the leaders of the church may be true servants, acting with the same concern that Christ showed for his followers, let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us, us true servants, servants o, o Lord. That the leaders of governments may exercise their power for the good of their people and avoid discord and distrust. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us true servants, servants, O Lord. That we may realize that success in God's eyes is not measured by the standards of the world, but by the respect we give to our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, Make us true servants, servants, O Lord. That those who are sick may realize that their suffering, undertaken in union with the suffering of Christ, can be turned into a great blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us true servants, O Lord, that the faithful departed may find eternal rests. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us true servants, O Lord. Heavenly Father, help us to serve each day by imitating your Son who laid down his life for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, we ask that by the example of St. Philip, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name and the service of our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Philip, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. 
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that in imitation of St. Philip, we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all those who have joined us in this celebration of the Eucharist, particularly the group of uh, the Girl Scouts of the Philippines. We pray that you may have a spirit-filled and fruitful convention and uh, celebration of your anniversary today. And uh, we also would like to invite everyone tonight at 9 p.m. our prayer of the Healing Rosary for the World and we will be led from the Immaculate Conception Cathedral of the Diocese of Pasig. And we will be praying in front of the Episcopally crowned image of Virgen de las Flores de Pasig. And so once again tonight, let us be together in praying the Rosary for the healing of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Years of faith, grateful today. We prepare to give to the Holy Ghost. We give ourselves, we live yours until the end. To your mission, Lord, we give our.